Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purudhaman and today I am going to discuss how can baking soda help us to treat chronic kidney disease. Before beginning the topic, I would like to provide a quick information about the functioning of the kidneys. We all know that the kidney filters waste from the blood and produces urine. However, it's important to understand that our urine is naturally acidic due to the kidney flushing acid out of the bodies. So if our kidney starts to fail, they may not able to filter out the extra acid properly, which can cause it to accumulate in our blood. We need to understand that when blood become acidic, it harms our kidneys to a great extent. To prevent this, it's important to ensure that the blood does not become too acidic. When kidney patient realize that their kidney are deteriorating, the level of creatinine in their body gradually increases from 1 to 4. However, once the creatinine level exceeds 4, the rate of this increase accelerates significantly. This rapid increase is often caused due to the metabolic acidosis. Earlier, the damage to the kidney was caused by high blood pressure, diabetes or even polycystic kidney disease. The accumulation of extra acid in the blood can damage kidney. Now the question arises why this rapid increase of creatinine level happens when the level of the creatinine touches 4. The reason is earlier only the BP sugar of polycystic kidney was the only culprit causing the damage to the kidney condition. But once the level of creatinine touches 4, one more condition metabolic acidosis starts in the body which causes damage to the kidney also. Till now we have discovered that there is a buildup of acid in our bloodstream and it can be determined that the kidney are not functioning properly, which make it difficult to expel acid from the body. So the only visible solution that remains is to neutralize the acid inside the body. Let me explain it to you with an example. If you are experiencing burning sensation in your stomach or acidity, what do you usually take? Most people take soda water or acid reflux tablet, right? If you look at the back of the tablet, you will see that it contains sodium bicarbonate, which is also called as baking soda. When you mix these two ingredients in a water, bubble begins to form, which helps to reduce acidity. But in case of patient with the kidney problem, we avoid giving citric acid as it can further increase the amount of acid in the body. Instead, we only administered sodium bicarbonate, which is essentially known as baking soda. When the substance enter the body, it helps to balance the pH level in the blood by neutralizing excess acid. By doing so, the impact on the kidney is reduced. One should also know that metabolic acidosis does not originate within the body. As I told you, sodium bicarbonate is considered a very safe substance. That's why kidney failure patient can take baking soda tablet in some form to prevent their kidney from deteriorating. You may also know these tablets by their other names like such as Nodosis, Bosis and Sodamate. And what is the purpose of this? To avoid metabolic acidosis in the body. Another thing we need to consider here is, while doing a KFT test, please make a special request for a serum bicarbonate test also. Now, if your serum bicarbonate test is normal, still I suggest you to include a small amount of sodium bicarbonate tablet in your daily routine. This will not cause any health problem. Now let me explain to you which fruit you should avoid if you are having kidney problem. Fruits like mango, oranges, grapes and also fruits should be avoided by the kidney patient as they can harm the kidney. Secondly, it is important to note that patient with unclear stomach may also experience metabolic acidosis problem. Therefore, if you are a kidney patient, it's important to ensure that you have a daily bowel movement. And the third thing you have to avoid is coffee, which is not good for your health. So you have to keep all these things in your mind. At last, I would like to say it's important to have a good understanding of a disease as it enables you to tackle it effectively. To maintain good health, it's important to prioritize healthy habits and proper nutrition. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to contact us. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Namaste. -bye.